Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toy Escapades channel in Malaysia. Now my Moto Origins exclusive Grizzlaw action figure has finally arrived. Okay, they shipped it out straight out of Metal Creations right down here to Malaysia. It came in this huge sturdy looking box. Okay, the box is sure to protect whatever's inside. I did find these stains along the box a bit curious though. What the hell are these supposed to be, right? Was there an attempt to drown this box? You know, maybe, I don't know, set it on fire perhaps? Either way, the outer box was in great shape. However, the contents within, okay, the actual Grizzlaw figure, there's something really perplexing about it, right? So that's going to become the subject of this video. Thanks for tuning in and let's get into it. Okay, so I get into the box and the first thing that greets me are the packing materials. Now, the interesting thing about the packing materials is that even though they're there, there's still enough space for the package to be tossed around within the box if it needs to. <laughs> but at least they're there. And then uh, we also get the shipping order for this whole shipment okay everything is just laid out there and then we get to the actual package i'm really thrilled to receive him right i'm probably one of the last few people on the planet to actually get him in hand but yeah he's looking great but then when i flip him over to the top okay what i see here is something just so freaking unexplainable now why in the hell is this thing supposed to be it's like an animal tried to attack it now what's the deal here why is there a huge yawning hole on the top of this mailer box you know what's the story here all right and the mailer box is like part of the whole freaking experience right but this thing's just looking like it's been ripped out now just to be clear i didn't pay for some used goods here i didn't pay for pre-loved items this thing's supposed to be brand new straight from the factory the seal on this thing has been broken as well now when i got the figure out well the bubble's in great shape but i kind of noticed that the card backs dented as well okay as you can see in a couple of spots here the card bag's been handled, all right? So this thing ain't mint, okay? This thing didn't come straight on the factory. It's supposed to arrive to you, like, untouched in the mailer box, okay? But this thing's been touched, I don't know by whom, okay? Or by what, right? Yeah, and by the way, the artwork here is just freaking fantastic. And yeah, I mean, it's great to have Grizzlo in hand. I just didn't think that I'll be receiving a package with so many unexplained damages, okay? What are these things supposed to be? Anyway, to sum up the whole experience, this is just some freaking bullshit right here. I mean, is this a marketing gimmick? Are they somehow trying to replicate the experience of owning like a real caged Grizzlaw figure? Is he trying to get out of the package and get at you? Is this like an immersive experience? What the hell is this? Okay, how does something like this happen? Okay, that's what I want to know, right? How does it happen? Now, this is in fact my first ever Motu Origins exclusive figure to be shipped in from Mattel Creations. Uh, I think they mentioned as well that Camo Khan is going to be shipping soon. So uh, yeah, I mean, I hope that Khan doesn't arrive looking like he's trying to venom blast his way out of the package. I mean, after this, you know, I just don't know. But I did write into Mattel, I sent them the pictures of the package, but I'm not really expecting anything of an explanation from them, all right? Because I don't think that anybody can explain what's happened here, okay? Can you? You know, I'm just doing up this video to edit my collection of weird shit that happened with toy packages. All right, but you know what? I'm going to get this thing opened up and reviewed. It's going to be in a separate video. I know that the Grizzlaw figure has been reviewed all the way from here to Etheria by now, but I haven't put my spin on it yet, so I just want to talk about it. Hope you guys will tune in for that one later, and I'll catch you guys again real soon right here with more content. Thank you, and take care out there.